Now, more local coverage. This is Eyewitness News on WPRI 12. Well, it was a nice day today, a lot warmer than you might expect for the end of November. The warmer temperatures are here at about the same time the hurricane season is wrapping up. And meteorologist TJ Del Santo joins us now with more local coverage. November 30th is an important day in the weather world. It's the end of hurricane season, and it's also the end of meteorological fall, which runs from September 1st to November 30th. And this fall could be the warmest we've ever seen. The 2017 hurricane season was a devastating one. 17 storms became strong enough to be named, and 10 became hurricanes. Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria were the ones which will be etched in people's minds for a long time. Like hurricane season, autumn could be one for the record books for a very different reason. Oh, this weather's phenomenal. The leaves have fallen from most of the trees, but warm sunshine continues to keep southern New England pretty warm. Every day we get like this, I try to take advantage of the good day here, you know? George Burns got some extra motorcycle time this fall, including on this day when warm winds brought temperatures here in Rhode Island into the 60s. Those temperatures will likely make the past three months as the warmest such period for the capital city. I'd have to believe that. I mean, this is phenomenal. This is just great. We shovel through the data to see if there is any connection between warm autumns and winter snowfall in Providence. The correlation is strong. Here are the top 10 warmest autumns on record and the snowfall for the following winter. With the exception of one year, last year, snowfall was below average in a range between 8 and 25 inches for the months of December through February. Of course, many people love the snow and many rely on it for a living. The numbers and weather patterns just don't look favorable for an overly snowy winter, however. In the control room, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.